With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with the question which says a ball is shown at an angle theta up to the top of clip of height L from a point at a distance L from the base as shown in the figure. Assuming that one of the following quantities is the initial speed required to make the ball hit right at the edge of the clip, which one is it? So basically, uh, we have been asked to calculate the value of initial speed. What must be the initial speed so that this ball will uh, reach the top of clip? So let's try to understand this question. So uh, we have been given with the initial velocity. Let's suppose it has to be u. So what we can do over here is we can uh, consider the uh, entire motion or entire projectile into the two parts. That is uh, one is along y axis and one is along x axis. So we can say there will be two components of velocity. One will be along horizontal and if suppose this is angle theta that has been given. So horizontal velocity will be u cos theta and vertical velocity will be u sin theta. The best way to solve projectile problem is that uh, we can uh, individually imagine the motion along x and y axis. So from here we can say to cover a distance of this L along the horizontal direction. So we can say this velocity will be responsible. So we can write along horizontal u cos theta will uh, cover this distance of L. So from here we can see and let's suppose uh, it takes time t. So uh, we will just use the formula for velocity that is u cos theta will be equals to distance upon time. Therefore, from here the value of time can be written as L by u cos theta. Alright, so in this much time the ball will reach at the top and cover this much distance. That is we can say it will uh, vertically displace by distance L or displacement L and horizontally it will be displaced by another L as we can see in the figure. So let's say this is our equation number 1. So this is the case of a, a horizontal motion. Now we will uh, consider the motion for a vertical plane or along vertical. So along vertical as we can see at every point acceleration due to gravity will be acting in the downward direction and this will be the case. So uh, we can apply kinematical equation to get the displacement. So we can write uh, displacement or we can use third kinematical equation that is s equals to ut plus of half at square. Here we will follow the uh, uh, convention that is downward as negative, upward as positive. So we can say uh, displacement is upward that is plus l. Alright, so this much displacement is there in the vertical direction. u is nothing but it is u sin theta that is u sin theta will be responsible for the vertical motion as we have discussed above. And t we have just calculated it as l by u cos theta. And acceleration due to gravity is instead of acceleration we will put a minus g over here. So it can be written as half into g into t square that is l square divided by u square cos square theta. Alright so uh, if we solve it a bit further so u u will get cancelled. So here we are left with LL from both sides can be cancelled out. So we are left with 1 is equals to uh, here we are left with tan theta minus of uh, GL divided by 2u square cos square theta. We are interested in finding the value of u square. Therefore we can say 2u square cos square theta will be equals to GL upon tan theta minus 1. Alright, so from here we can see therefore the value of u, u square will be uh, written as gl upon tan theta minus 1 into 1 over 2 cos square theta. So this result finally leads us to u will be equals to 1 over cos theta under root of gl upon gl upon 2 tan theta minus 1. So this is the final expression for velocity we are getting or initial velocity we are getting and this matches with option b. So I hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.